folks have uh, held this press conference. And I, I want to start off with saying this is Doug Ford's opinion. This isn't the mayor's opinion or council's opinion. This is strictly my opinion. I also want to say, Rob, myself, support our police 100%. And that support for our frontline police will never waver. In my opinion, with the chief's comments the other day, we have the most political police chief I've ever seen. The police chief believes he's the judge, the jury, and the executioner. In my opinion, this creates a bias towards the mayor. It creates a bias towards Sandra Lisi's case. This compromises the, the chief. And as, as the former Solicitor General said, Bob Runciman, and now Senator, well, about the chief's comments, it's unacceptable, his comments. He said that the police probe will be investigated with or without bias. With or without favor, I should say. My question is to the chief, you forgot the word biased in there. <coughs> the chief shouldn't have come out and made the comments while he was wearing the police chief's uniform about his personal opinions about the mayor. I will be writing a letter to the Ontario Independent Police Review Director until they can call a probe into his comments. Another big issue I have and I'm also uh, putting a letter to the board, the police board, and the chair, Dr. Mukherjee. I do not have confidence in one of the board members, Andy Pringle. There's a massive conflict of interest that he went away on a vacation with the chief. He went on a fishing vacation with the chief. I would like a probe into that. I would like to find out who paid for this trip. I'd like to know if there's any conversations about police issues during that trip. I'd like to know if there's any issues discussed about the mayor during that trip. And it's a, it's a, a, a massive conflict of interest. Because right now, in my mind, that compromises the board member when it comes up to reviewing anything to do with the chief's performance anything to do about renewing the police contract, anything about renewing the police chief's term, which will come up in August of this year. I'm, I am asking, and I'll be putting this in a letter, that Andy Pringle step down immediately from the police board. We cannot have a police board member being the police chief's fishing buddy. I'll take I'll take any uh, any questions. Councillor, that fishing trip happened uh, quite some time ago, more than a year ago. Why are you bringing it to the attention now? Since then, Mr. Pringle yeah. has voted against uh, police budget increases. He's in a, a, the mayor put him on the board. Why bring it up now? You cannot. It's a conflict of interest for any board member to be going away on a private vacation with the person that the police chief reports into the board, and if they're fishing buddies. There's a conflict of interest. Well, well, that goes for any private why sector or public sector why you people. You know something? Because I, I got a little more information as people are calling. And, and and it's not just Doug Ford saying there's an issue with the with what the police chief said. The former Solicitor General said it. The former Premier of British Columbia said it. MPs from Ottawa have said it. So it's not just Doug Ford's opinion. He's definitely stepped over the line. He has shown a bias. And we we want a probe into his comments. You're setting off a war with the police chief. Are you ready for this? Hold on. Let, let me be very clear. Setting off a war. Am I supposed to be intimidated by the police chief? Is that is that what you're implying? The police chief doesn't intimidate me. I'm the only one with political will that will stand here and hold the police chief to account. So there can't be a rule for the mayor and one for the police chief. 
And that is what's happening right now, folks. There's two sets of rules here. So what should the okay. police chief have done when there was reports that there was a video of the mayor smoking crack cocaine? He should go through proper process. He shouldn't have made his personal comments about him being disappointed. This will affect the city. He was wearing the police chief's uniform. I also, I also thought it was inappropriate, and I, I'm, I'm just going to be quoting uh, the former Solicitor General and Senator, express his views on an issue not directly related to the police officer's responsibilities as a police officer. Two more questions. And it's uh, a, a traumatic issue for the reputation of the city. I think, I think we, we have some issues here. Yeah. And if no one else, if no one else wants to hold the police chief to account, we don't live in a police state. Given this okay. country, are you and the mayor going to be able to work through the police budget coming up without any bias? Let me, be, let, let, let me be very, very clear. Through the budget process, I met with the police chief last week. We had a great meeting. Crime is going down. As I said numerous times, we will never waver from our support of the frontline police officers in this city. And we're going to be hiring additional police officers, as the mayor uh, mentioned, uh, during his election. So we're going to make sure we keep that promise. And make no mistake about it, we support the frontline police officers of this city. And in passing, I've talked to some frontline officers, and they disagree with what the chief has said also. Why won't your brother come out and speak to the media? Why won't your brother come out and speak to the media? Why are you talking for him again? Let, let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm here on an issue Why about the your police chief. Why won't Mayor Ford come out? Where is Mayor Ford? Ford? Okay, folks, Where is Mayor Ford? I think the city has seen the media pile on here. Again, due process. The media has not given the mayor due process. The mayor had a chance to talk to him. Where is Mayor Ford this morning? Again, Mayor Ford Mayor Ford Ford again, again Mayor I'll Ford. answer his question, then I'll be, be on my way. Mayor Ford is out at uh, calls right now and, and dealing with dealing with, dealing with issues of the city. What issues? And that's, what issues? Uh, you, you, can ask, you can ask his chief of staff where he is. His chief of staff won't ask her answer a question. As, no as well. Any, any, other, any other questions? Does the mayor agree with you that the, the police chief should step aside? Well, you know something? I haven't been in in-depth conversations uh, with the mayor. He's out on, on a call right now. And uh, that, that's, he's going to be continuing doing the job. We're going to continue doing the job of saving taxpayers money. We're going to continue being number one ranked in the world to work in. We're number two ranked to live in. We've saved over one billion dollars for the taxpayers. Well, and we're going to continue to the saving the money. Why would your brother talk to the police? Why won't your brother talk to the police?